They are staring at us because I am a vampire. And you are mortal. Well, who cares what they think? Fans of the HBO hit True Blood get to sink their teeth into season six in just a few weeks. But the author of the vampire books that spawned the series, well, she is attempting to put an end to the main character, Sookie Stackhouse. The 61-year-old's fans are responding with threats and promises of suicide. What is all this about? Alexandra Alter, WJ's publishing reporter, is here with the inside scoop. All right, this whole thing is like its own suspense novel, what has happened to this author. For the, for the uninitiated, tell us exactly who Charlene Harris is. Charlene Harris uh, got her start in the 80s writing mystery novels, and then she hit on a gold mine when she created this character, Sookie Stackhouse. Um, the books came out in the early 2000s, and uh, they include vampires and werewolves and witches, and they just hit all these different genres. There's mystery, there's romance, there's supernatural, and they just exploded. And so she wrote the books, uh, 13 of them, for 12 years. And, you know, like any author, she sort of wants to do something different. She feels like the storylines are played out, she's tried everything, but her fans are just insatiable and they just want more uh, many of them do at least so and, and even more because HBO his 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 head true blood their show which is such a hit which is inspired by her books now everybody sort of wonders you know wh why you want to stop when something's such a success but you do you, you do get burnt out as you were saying all the characters the fans are not responding well what's happened well so there's a very you know a, a very vocal contingent of fans many of them love these the vampire characters and they just want the series to go on forever which potentially it could these vampire characters are immortal so <laughs> you could you know you, it could go on for decades and decades and uh, that's what they would like to have happen um, that an Another issue that has come up, which was unfortunate, is uh, f someone in Germany got an early copy of the book and leaked the ending. So this has like spread it. all over the yeah. internet, and some people are very upset about how the series ends. You know, this is a problem that you see with other big entertainment franchises like Lost. You had right. a lot of backlash. You know, when people follow a character in a story for a decade, they start to feel invested, and they have their kind of own ideas of what should happen for the character, and they get really upset. Even Harry if it's Potter series, exactly. I mean, Stephanie Meyer's Stephanie, Twilight series, I mean, right. they all have dealt with this. You said she's had three threats. Uh, she's had somebody who said, I'm going to commit suicide over this, this, these characters going away. How has she dealt with this in her personal life? You spent a lot of time talking to her as she was, uh, didn't want to say where she lived exactly. What, what's happened to her per well, in her life? Well, you know, she is a really uh, very gracious, very friendly person, and she devotes a lot of time to her fans. She'll spend four hours at a stretch signing books. But I think she's a little uncomfortable sometimes with the outpourings of emotion that people have. You know, she says people will kneel in front of her, and that makes her extremely uncomfortable. Kneel? Kneel. Um, she's had people show up at her house and announce, which is why she's, you know, since moved and tries, you know, not to say exactly where she lives. Um, I think she feels comfortable with her choice. Uh, she wants to do something to else. To end the series. Yeah. Um, and she already has something else in the works. She has another series going. I think it'll appeal to a lot of her fans. It's got some of the supernatural themes and some familiar characters. But there are some people that are just so invested in the Sookie books that they don't want to do anything else ever. Editor and agent, obviously, look, they're always sad when something that's a huge hit comes to an end. Yeah. But, but, you know, they got to go with the author's wishes. Uh, they're, promo they're, they're doing this sort of transition in a very interesting way. Uh, you know, she's writing kind of a transition book to include some of the old characters and make them meet some new characters, Is, if I got that right? Sort of, yes. Yeah. She has a short story coming out. It's part of an anthology, and it'll be out next year, and it's the final Sookie story ever. Is that, That's how they've described it to me. But it will also include the hero of her next series. So this is a sort of way to, to, to wean the fans off of Sookie and get them invested Into the in the next it. one. Exactly. Very, very shrewd. All right, yeah. Alexander Alter, great tale. More about that in the arena section tomorrow. Thank you. Appreciate your being here.